Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Software Basics. So today's video is something quite simple and it's just kind of following my previous video on how to change your default port for remote desktop on Windows. Now by default the port is 3389 and I made a video prior to this one that shows you how to customize it and use your own custom port obviously for security reasons so when you do actually do that there is one more thing that you need to do the reason why is because even after you change your parts to something custom you still can't connect and that's just due to a small firewall rule which is basically what I'm going to be showing you how to resolve so first things first open your run command and then type in wf.msc so this will open the Windows Defender Firewall Advanced Security Settings so what you want to do is select inbound rules you can see here I actually have this done already but that's what I'm going to be showing you and then click new rule and this will open another window so new inbound rule wizard then select port go to next and you can just select TCP, it doesn't give you an option to select both, but it'll still work out. And then here, just select specific local ports. So you'd want to give it the custom port. And of course, you can add more as well if you're doing other stuff on different ports and you want to open the security a little bit for that. So let's just assume we went with a custom port of 3390. So just go next and then you want to check allow the connection so this includes connections that are protected with IPsec as well as those that are not so we'll just go next and for me I just select all three I know some people would probably want to uncheck public but I kept it this way with all three of them because sometimes I do travel and I would like to be able to connect remotely from like a hotel which normally has a public network so then go next and now you can just give this a name, so I'll just call this demo RDP YouTube YT. Now you don't have to give it a description, this is optional. And then just simply hit finish. So once this is completed, just simply restart your PC and then from now on you should be able to connect using your custom RDP port. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video. If it does help you out, please make sure to leave a like and of course leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.